is Super Bowl week. Who you got? Who you picking? Are you ready at the shop? Like, is it going to be crazy for you? Um, you know, this is always a, a fun week in the pizza business because, you know, pizza is like the, the, the quintessential party food, right? Quintessential party food. We've been, you know, fortunate enough to have a few Super Bowl, Super Bowl games played here in Tampa, which always amps up the excitement. And I know this year the game, where's the Super Bowl? Is it? I think it's in Vegas. So that's going to present a whole added level of craziness for the folks out there in Vegas. So, you know, I hope y'all are are well prepared and and ready for just a, a, a hell of a week of events when it comes down to Super Bowl. Um, this week is fun though. I had a, I had a good chance last week to spend some time with some high schoolers over at Hillsborough high school. And we had, we just had a, a good fun time talking through their project and, you know, just doing some coaching with, with the team over there. I'll, I'll, I'll dig more into that, um, next week, but it was just know that it was a lot of fun and I'm excited to to come back and talk about what um what I learned, what I was able to share, what we what we talked about and the problem, the big problem that they're trying to solve as a group. So very exciting stuff. Pizza of the week this week actually is going to be something I'm gonna make on Super Bowl Sunday. I, I don't know. I may try to do it live. I've never really gone live before. So I don't know how that's gonna work for me, but either way. This is something that we're going to make on Sunday in the shop because, you know, we'll be all hands on deck for Super Bowl. I'm I'm sure at this point you've probably seen the Philly pizza burrito where we take the Philly cheesesteak and wrap it in, you know, wrap it up in a in a pepperoni pizza or whatever kind of pizza they want, making a Philly pizza burrito. But Alan said, man, let's let's do the buffalo chicken Philly. And do it like on a on a buffalo chicken pizza. So. We're going to do like the chicken Philly, buffalo chicken Philly. We'll do a buffalo, you know, maybe wrap it with a buffalo chicken pizza to do the buffalo chicken Philly pizza burrito. But I want to take it one step further and roll it up strong bully style and drop that boy in a deep fryer. That's what I want to do. I don't know if that's crazy. It may be my wife's like, you know, you don't got to worry about saving me any of that. But. I don't even know if I'm going to eat any, but it just sounds crazy. And I can't wait to see what it looks like. So tap in with me, follow me on Instagram. If I do it live, if I can figure out how to do it live, it'll be live on Instagram. So check me out over there. Tyrell Reed senior or pizza King podcast. I I don't know if you can go live on two pages at one time. I'm sure I have to pick one of them, but one of those pages will be live and we'll, uh, you know, we'll spend a few minutes making that making that monstrosity. Super Bowl. Um, that was the really the the this show is all about Super Bowl, how we're preparing, you know, what our expectations are for sales. There used to be this time in the pizza game where like like Super Bowl was and 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 to be clear, it could still be like this for other folks, but for us. Super Bowl used to be like our biggest day of the year, right? All hands on deck, ready to just blow through with sales. We're going to get killed. We got wings, wings, wings galore, pizza like crazy. In recent years, it's it's not as crazy as it used to be. It's still busy. It's a it's a busier than average Sunday for us, but it's not it's not our busiest day of the year anymore. Now, at this point where we are, our busier days are Halloween, uh, Thanksgiving Eve, uh, day after Christmas, New Year's, New Year's Day, New Year's Eve. Those those holidays have gotten a lot busier than Super Bowl for us. But our busiest days always come post hurricane or post storm days. If granted, you have power, if you have power after a hurricane. You're going to kill it. So those those become our busiest days. But that doesn't mean that we're still not um, preparing for a busy Super Bowl Sunday. It's just that our preparations are a little bit different now than they used to be before, where we would, you know, we'd be watching wing prices, ordering in advance, you know, getting wings stored up, stocked up in the freezer, making sure we catch the best prices, um, ready to blow out, you know, the the amount of cases we were selling a month or 
you know, five or six weeks in just one day. Realistically, it's just not that it's just not the same anymore. Post COVID. Folks got a lot of options. There's a there's a you know, there's a lot of competition out there. And. You know, we just it's a good day, but it's not it's not the best day of the year. I think that's the best way for me to say it. it's a good day, but it's not the best day of the year anymore. So, you know, God bless you to anybody who is preparing to have their busiest day of the year. You know, go have some fun. It's going to it's going to be a good one. And uh, hopefully you get a chance to enjoy some of the game as well. Sales on Super Bowl has always been. Whatever we are going to get, we get early, meaning before the game starts, because once the game starts, that's typically where you see the big drop off in 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 traffic. Everybody's kind of tuned in, tapped into the game. A little bit of a push for halftime. But for the most part, once the game starts, it's pretty much it's pretty much a wrap. So I guess we could that could have been really could have used that as Q&A, what to expect for Super Bowl Sunday. If this is your first year, your first Super Bowl, I would tell you just be ready for a, a busier than average Sunday. Uh, make sure that you got your, your prep ready. Make sure you got, you know, your, your staff and your team ready for higher volumes. Is it going to knock your socks off? I hope it does. I, I seriously hope it does. I hope you get crazy busy lines out the door, deliveries that you can't even handle because, you know, that's what we do it for. We want to, we want to serve, we want to serve the largest possible audience. So best of luck to all of my operators out there. Going to be a good Super Bowl game. And I hope that translates to good Super Bowl business for all of us pizza folks in the game. This week was a was a good episode. I actually pre-recorded a segment <clears throat> with our very first guest. Actually, I should say guest set of guests, our very first guest here on Pizza King Podcast. Um, I'm gonna cut it over to that to that and come back to you right after. But check out this couple of minutes segment with Dallas, Tyrell, and Adrian Reed, also known as the Reed Boys. Welcome to the podcast, fellas. All right, and we are back. Like I said before, got something real special for you this week. I would like to introduce for the very first time having guests on our show. I'm going to welcome in our special guest. Oh, we got to move that. We got that camera in the way. Okay, uh, that's cool. Let's get it. Let's get it like right. We'll just get it down a little bit so we can see your faces. We got Tyrell Dallas and Adrian Reed, also known as the Re Boys. Somebody yawning a little bit tired over there. What's going on, boys? How y'all doing? Good. All right. Introduce yourselves. Who who we got? Who are you? I'm Dallas. And I I like the 49ers because they made a company. Whoa, we gonna we gonna we gonna get to that. Hold on, whoa, 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 bro. Calm down. Dallas and you love sports. Who's who's next to you, Dallas? Uh, this man named Adrian. It, who are Adrian? Tell us something about yourself. I'm Adrian, and I love the color orange. Adrian loves the color orange. I love the color orange too. It's a happy color. Who else do we have? Last but not least. Oh, uh, I'm Tyrell, and I feel like I'll dominate him in any sports. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. No, that is true. Tyrell's here to dominate, so he says. All right, Reed boys. Well, welcome to the show. Happy to have y'all here. This is the first time I've had a guest on Pizza King podcast, so I am honored to have my three favorite people on the planet joining me. Who's oh, quick question before we go: who's who's my favorite son? Me, obviously him. You said it three times. Who? Which one? It's me right here. It's me right here. What? I don't know. I don't know. It's it's always a tough race, though. I I, I love all of you, you don't but. Have a favorite Mm, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that either. It's obviously Adrian. We said it three times. I don't know, Adrian. You are my guy. Hey, sir. You yes, are my guy. Sir. Dallas, no. Dallas stole the dap. Hey, but Tyrell, named after your father. What? Who could be mad at that? Who could be uh, mad at that? All right. So, so like all right, guys. So this show, we we come on and we talk about we talk about pizza every week. We talk about things that we do in the pizza business. Obviously, you guys know that we, our family, are in the pizza business. We own pizzerias. Um, 
do you guys are you would you consider yourselves to be pizza eaters, pizza lovers? Do y'all love pizza? Yes. Would, not really. Not really. Not really into pizza. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. Well, that was kind of going to go into my question. What is your favorite pizza? Dallas. Uh, I say the thing called Papa John's. Papa, really? The disrespect. Yeah. On my own show. For me. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I meant no, 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 no. What's your pizza? Pepperoni pizza. That's, that's why he's the favorite son. <laughs> now we know why he's the favorite son. We got a we got a Marco's pizza, a, pa- a Papa John's, and a and a and what sure. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's hard to argue when he when he shows up with answers like that. I mean, come on. <laughs> on my own show. On my own show. So pepperoni pizza from West Shore is your favorite. Dallas, do you have any particular toppings that you enjoy from um, Papa John's? Well, first of all, hold on. Let's go back. Dallas, where did you have Papa John's? I've what? had Papa Be- John's in Because uh, we have never brought Papa John's in this house. So where, yeah, but we've been to Papa John's. When did we go to Papa John's? No, no. We've had I've never. I've been to Papa John's. Not y'all. Where? where that's what we're, and that's what we're asking you when did you have papa johnson and brandon with who daycare okay so all right at the daycare he had papa john's now so one time in your life and now that's your favorite pizza yes. no loyalty fine no 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 we don't we don't need you to switch your answers up i just thought that i just thought that was interesting it's what's also interesting is that you guys have all gone to the same daycare your whole lives and he's the only one that had Papa John's. Yeah, because y'all weren't there that day. No, okay. he just with this. He's trying to tell us to shush. Oh, okay, yeah. It sounds like sounds like there's some 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 cap going on in there. Yeah, no, it's cap. I don't know what's your What's your definitely uh my favorite pizza? My second favorite pizza is a school pizza in Navigator County. When they have pineapple tidbits. And I can make a wine pizza on it. Oh, that's interesting. So you are a fan of pineapple on pizza. So you you are one of those cats that are putting, you know, pi- doing the Hawaiian. I'm I myself am a fan of pineapple on pizza as well. My favorite toppings. Okay, we didn't we didn't finish. So Dallas, no favorite toppings. You just like cheese pizza. Tyrell, any favorite toppings? Adrian is a big fan of uh, pepperoni, but also will will opt for. A nice Hawaiian pie if given the option. Okay. All right. Well, I, I appreciate that, guys. That was that was good. All right. I brought you here for a specific reason. Obviously, we know that this is the week of the NFL's biggest game. I know we have a couple football fans in the building. I want to talk. I got a couple of NFL questions for you. Okay. Our, I think someone's excited about their pick. We're gonna say we're saving picks for last. We're gonna save picks for last if that's all right with you. Soccer fan. All right, okay. So we, I got three quick questions for you, Adrian. You for I got a question for you first. We know that you're not a huge football fan, but let's see if you're really the favorite child. Do you know who my favorite football team is? That's so easy, bro. How how why is that so easy? Because you always talk about it. Look, Sanders P. Smith who doesn't. Okay, Emma Smith. Smith. Okay, all right, all right. So valid point. So never mind the child that is named Dallas. What? Okay, all right. Second second question goes to Tyrell. Tyrell, who is the greatest quarterback of all time? In your opinion. In my opinion, what? He's like BM. Who is no, no. Oh, Baker Mayfield. No, no. There's, there's, there's Patrick Mahomes. No, uh, not Patrick Mahomes. Okay, I I asked Tyrell. What's Tyrell's answer? Patrick. Patrick Mahomes. Dallas, you have a differing opinion. I'm I'm assuming. Yeah. Who? Aaron Rodgers or Josh Allen. Aaron Rodgers or Josh Allen. For me, Patrick Mahomes. Josh Allen. He's on the team. Josh Allen goes to Dallas. Okay. All right. So we got two votes for Mahomes and one vote for Josh Allen. Okay. Hmm. All right. I was I was leaning more along the lines of Tom Brady, but hey, that's okay. This is me. This is the radio. 
because I'm Floridian. Okay. It could have something to do right with that. It's a retirement state. He's retired. Yeah, All right. And this this last question goes to the guy in the middle over there. Dallas Reed. Yeah. Who's the best receiver in the NFL? Ooh. Uh, I, I, you know who it is. Uh, it's a thing called Jay Jettis. Justin Jefferson. Justin Jefferson is the best? Uh, it, but, but, who, but who's your favorite? So, J- so Jay Jett is the best, but Diggs is your favorite? Uh, Diggs is better than Justin Jefferson, but like he's like number one. Okay. All right. All right. So, me personally, I like the Kalen Metcalf. Who is the Kalen? DK Metcalf. The Kalen Metcalf is your that's your favorite? Yeah, why I you know. why you like DK so much? Because he's just like buff. Okay. Well, he is he is diesel. He's lit. Yeah, for sure. And he just eats candy all the time. What? <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's a good reason to like somebody if they eat candy. I mean, who doesn't want that life, right? Me. I don't want that much cavities. Oh my goodness. All right. La- last question before we let you guys get out of here. Who are you picking for Super Bowl winner this year? Chiefs. So we got Chiefs. I got Adrian picks the Chiefs. Tyrell picks San Francisco. And Dallas is going with San Francisco. I'm going to have to. Mm, let me see. Which kid am I going to side with on this one? Oh hey, man! Obviously, him. Well, listen, listen, listen. Not not because I want to choose him, but because I know better than to go against the ones who have done it in the greats. It's going to be really hard to beat Patrick Mahomes in that situation. So I'm going with Kansas City for the win. You always go. Oh, no. <laughs> no. 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 All right, Kansas yeah, City for the win. Patrick Mahomes to be the best. He's not QB. Okay, he's not all, all, okay. No all right. So one one last thing before before I wrap it up, and I know I said I would let you go after that question, but this also is a podcast that we use to educate people to help them get into the business, um, to help them navigate how to be better pizzeria owners or leaders or or managers or whatever that is. Obviously, you guys have have been with me throughout all of this. If there was one piece of advice you can give someone who was starting a pizza business and you wanted they wanted to be successful, what kind of advice would you give them? Well, I mean, besides that, we know if they're here, they see this, they're already on the podcast. Some some real advice. No, not about me. Come on, man. (laughs) I'll say real advice. Keep on your dreams of pizza and then keep working hard to get the pizza. And then really? Get the pizza. Cause that's really the opposite of what you do. Keep working yes. on your dreams. Keep working hard. Yep. All right. Or Adrian, do you got any real advice? That's real. Any advice. leadership advice? All right. This is also, I'm also a leadership always, development coach. Always believe in yourself and never give up. What is, okay. Believe in yourself. Also known as what? Integrity. Oh, uh, close. Okay. What was that? Confidence. Confidence. I always believe in Tyrell. What kind of advice can you give to the people out there looking to be better leaders or better pizzeria owners, or to kids? Okay, what about their what about kids out there who have parents who are who are working? What do you got for them, um, Tyrell? Like if they're not on the pizza. Okay, but anyone that hears this is probably already listening, but I'm talking about some something real. You want to come back to that one? Yeah. All right, so let me let me ask you this then. What has been your favorite part, Tyrell, of being the kid of someone who owns a pizza shop other than free pizza? I have no answer. You got no free pizza you love? Yeah. You get a lot of free pizza, right? I get to make it all the time too. You do you like making pizza in the shop? Yeah. Dallas, what do you got? Uh, I got wait. Uh, you had your hand up. I, I'm assuming you wanted to say something. Uh, yeah, friends, we got. All right. Well, you know, I appreciate you guys coming out. Thanks for joining the show. You know, it's always fun to, to talk with you guys. I think this was cool to have you a part of this. 
say uh say say what's up oh you guys are on youtube right yeah you got you all got youtube channels yeah. this is your chance you got my you got our audience my audience right here tell them where tell them where to find you where's your, what's your youtube channel mine is at kid gamer robloxia kid gamer robloxia we'll put that in the show notes tyrell you got a channel what's your channel shifty k at syt shifty k at syt what about you my man it is wait Oh, come Side, on. This is your chance. Side, Side, Side Pet Adventures on YouTube. Go follow these guys. Reboys. We all there's also a Reboys uh channel as well. What's that one called? Raising Reeds. Raising Reeds, where you where you can find all, all of their stuff. Was, our last video was like last year. My my oh, favorite my favorite guys. Thanks again for coming on the show. We'll have to bring y'all back to see how those Super Bowl picks went. And uh you know, let the people know how you're progressing. After, after the Super Bowl, we have to do this again. Bring us every Monday. How about that? I don't know about all that. Wow. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye. All right. That was that was fun. Uh, I love I love those kids because they are they are always so so fun, so ready, so just so happy and just joyful. They they bring a lot of a lot of fun into this house and into my life. So appreciate them joining me and. Looking forward to to them coming back and hey, go check out their content too. They're they're fun and they are really on their journey to becoming young creators. They they really help me out a lot too when it comes to some of the templates and the and the songs and the music that we choose for some of those things. They help me out more more than you believe when it comes to creating content. So appreciate the Reed Boys for joining me. If you want to be a guest on the show, reach out to me info at tyrellreed.com. If you have questions that you want answered on the show, pizzakingpodcast.com, tyrellreed.com, that's where you submit those. Those emails come directly to me. You can see I'm wearing uh, a nice Pizza King pullover. We do have merch available soon on the on the website, pizzakingpodcast.com. So uh, please, please go check that out. Put in your orders and uh, you know get those items shipped out to you. I want to close with a quick team building tip. As we talk this this episode about Super Bowl Sunday and preparing for what could possibly be your busiest day of the year, I just want to remind my leaders out there to try to make those days fun. Everyone's out of routine. If you're 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 planning for your busiest day of the year, that means you're prepping more than you normally prep. You're coming in earlier than you normally come in. You're scheduling more people than you normally schedule. All everyone's out of routine. So as a leader, you want to make sure that you get yourself out of routine too. Make it fun. Do something fun for them. Go. Go get those donuts. Go get go get some board games. Go 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 above and beyond. Put a TV in the kitchen or radio or something. Make it fun. This is going to be a crazy day for everybody. Folks are going to be barely standing by the end of the night if you get the sales that you think you're going to get. So do what you can to make it fun for them. And that's all I got for you. Thanks for checking out another episode. We'll see you next week. Peace King Podcast. Peace. <laughs>